Hi friends, Allie here. This week I'll be sharing three new tutorials for these country cottage minis. If you're not familiar, I have larger or just regular size versions of these patterns, but I thought it would be fun to make mini versions of them for the holidays. You can use them as tree ornaments, gift card holders, put little treats in them, or attach them to gifts. If you want to check out the larger versions of these, I'll put links to them down below. Or if you want the ad-free printable PDF, which includes all three of these mini patterns, you can find it in my Etsy shop or on Ravelry. So today we'll be making the mini country cottage stocking. I'll show you how to make it two-toned, so we have one color for the main body and another color for the toe, heel, and cuff. This measures approximately five inches by 2.5 inches. It's the perfect fit for a gift card, and you can even add a hanging loop on it so you can hang it on a tree or attach it to a gift. Before we get started, if you want to follow along with the free written pattern, you can find it on my website, theturtletrunk.com, and as the other mini tutorials are published, I will link them down below. I'll be posting one on Wednesday and the last one on Friday, so be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you're notified as soon as a new video is up. So if you're ready to get started, let's head over to our supply list and let's get making. For today's video, you will need medium four weight yarn in two colors. For color A, which is the body color, you will need 20 yards. And for color B, which is the toe, heel, and cuff color, you will need 10 yards. You'll also need a five millimeter or H hook, scissors, and a yarn needle. Starting with color B for the toe, we are gonna make a magic circle. So take the tail end of your yarn and wrap it around your pointer finger and your middle finger. When you bring it around a second time, cross it over and bring it to the back of your hand. Take your hook and insert it under the first loop, grab the second loop and pull it under. Pull up your hook and we're gonna secure that with a chain one. So there is our magic circle. Now working inside the circle, we are gonna work eight half double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook into the circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So we're gonna work a total of eight half double crochets inside of the circle. After working all eight of your half double crochets, you can take the short tail end there and pull it tight to close up that hole. And then we're going to join to the first half double crochet we worked with a slip stitch. And then chain one. So now we're done round one, so you have a total of eight stitches. Now on to round two, we're gonna work two half double crochets into each stitch around. So two half double crochets into that first stitch two half double crochets in the next stitch, and we're gonna repeat that all the way around for round two. I'm on the last stitch of round two, so here I'm going to change colors, so I'm gonna start my half double crochet as normal, but before finishing that final pull through, I'm gonna drop my current color and pick up my color A yarn and just finish that final pull through with color A. Then you're gonna join to the first half double crochet of the round with a slip stitch and chain two. So now we're gonna carry on with our color A yarn so you can cut off your color B yarn. Leave a couple inches enough that you can weave in your ends. I'm just going to tie my tail ends together there so they don't come undone. and then you can weave these in now, weave them in later, or those are just gonna be hidden inside of the stocking, so feel free to leave them as well. So now on to round three. For round three, we are gonna work one double crochet into each stitch around. So starting in that first stitch where we joined two, double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. So double crochet into each stitch around for round three. I'm just coming up to the end of round three, so you should have a total of 16 double crochets around. Join to the top of the first double crochet with a slip stitch and chain two. 
Now we're on to round four. This is where we're going to add the texture to our stocking. So we're going to work our regular double crochet into the first stitch. And then in the second stitch, we're going to work a front post double crochet. So we're going to work around the post of the stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook beside the post of the stitch and back to the front. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. So we're just going to repeat those two stitches all the way around for round four. So double crochet into the next stitch, then front post double crochet around the next stitch. The last stitch of round four will be a front post double crochet. Then we're going to join to the top of the first double crochet with a slip stitch and then chain two. So now we are going to start with a front post double crochet. So around the first double crochet we worked of round four, we're going to work a front post double crochet. And then in the next stitch, we're going to work a regular double crochet. So we're going to work front post double crochets on top of the double crochets from the previous round and then we're going to work our double crochets on top of the front post double crochets from the previous round. So for round five we're just going to repeat around working a front post double crochet then a double crochet. The last stitch of round five is going to be a double crochet. Then we're going to join to the top of the first front post double crochet with a slip stitch and chain two. So this is what our stocking is looking like so far. And now we're actually going to be adding in the heel. So I'm going to leave my yarn attached here. So this is my color A yarn I'm going to leave attached. And then I'm going to grab my color B yarn and I'm going to attach it to the sixth stitch around. So we're going to skip the first five stitches and attach our color B yarn to the sixth stitch. So I'm going to attach my yarn there and then I'm going to single crochet into the same stitch that I joined to and then single crochet in the next five stitches. So for the first row of the heel, we are going to have six single crochets across. Then we're going to chain one and turn so that we're working back into the row we just made. We're going to single crochet two together in the first two stitches. So insert your hook into the first stitch and pull up a loop. Insert your hook into the second stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. So there we worked a single crochet two together. Then single crochet in the next two stitches. And single crochet two together in the last two stitches. Now we have four stitches across. So we're going to chain one and turn. For row three, we're going to single crochet two together two times. Now we have two stitches across, chain one and turn. Now we're going to work two single crochets in each stitch. Now we have four stitches again, chain one and turn. For row five, you're going to work two single crochets into the first stitch. Then work one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Then work two single crochets into the last stitch. So now we have six stitches again. So there is our heel. So now we just have to sew the edges up and then we have our nice rounded heel. So I'm going to tie off my yarn, leaving about a 12 inch long tail. I'm going to pull that out with my hook and then I'm going to fold the heel backwards so it's the opposite way of the opening of our stocking 
And then I'm just gonna use that tail end to sew up the sides. So grab your yarn needle. And we're just going to sew up the edges on this first side. Then I'm just gonna carry my yarn over to the other side since it's not too far away. If you want, you can tie it off and reattach, but since it's such a short distance, you can just carry it over. So then you want to sew the sides on the other side together. And then you can just secure that with a few knots. And then you can weave your end in. I have a little bit of a hole right at the top of that heel right there. So I'm going to sew my yarn around it, try and close it up a little bit. And then when you're all done weaving in this end, you can cut off any excess yarn you have, and then we'll move back on with our color A yarn. So when we're all done with the heel, we can flip it so it's right side out, just like that. As you can see, it's now taking on more of that stocking shape. So before we move on to round six, I'm just going to weave in my tail ends on the inside and then we're going to carry on with our color A yarn for round six. So for round six, we're gonna begin by making a double crochet into the first stitch. If you didn't chain two at the end of the last round, you wanna chain two now. So we're going to continue on what we've been doing for the body, except we're gonna to have to work around the heel now. So we're gonna work a double crochet into the first stitch, front post double crochet into the next stitch, and then we're gonna repeat those two stitches one more time, double crochet in the next stitch, front post double crochet into the next stitch. We're gonna work one more double crochet into the next stitch, and now we are going to be working onto the heel. So if we worked straight onto the heel, there would be a big hole between that stitch and the last stitch. So we're gonna work a weird stitch. This is just going to prevent there being a gap between these two stitches. So we are going to yarn over and insert our hook into the next stitch where our heel is worked, there at the bottom. Pull up a loop. Insert your hook into the first stitch of the heel. So at the top there, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the last two loops on your hook. Now we're going to double crochet into the next four stitches across the top of the heel. So we're gonna work another one of those funky stitches here to prevent a gap on the other side. So starting in the last stitch of the heel, and then we're gonna be working down in that bottom stitch that the heel's worked into. Yarn over, insert your hook and pull up a loop. Insert your hook into that bottom stitch there. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through first three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through last two loops on your hook. So there we go. Now we're back to the main body of our stocking. So the first stitch is going to be a front post double crochet, and then double crochet into the next stitch, front post double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, 
and then front post double crochet into the last stitch. Then we're going to join to the first stitch with a slip stitch and chain two. So at the end of round six, our stitch count is back at 16. And here's what our stocking is looking like. So now we're on to round seven. So we're just going to work the body as we normally have been. So front post double crochet into the first stitch. then double crochet into the next. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around for round seven. Front post double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch. And when you get to that funky stitch in the edges of the heel, we're just going to treat those as regular stitches. Same with the double crochets that we worked on top of the heel we're just gonna continue working our front post double crochets and double crochets around them as normal. So just repeat that all the way around for round seven, front post double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch. Coming up to the last stitch of round seven, which is gonna be a double crochet. Then it's going to join and chain two. Now we're on to round eight. For round eight, we are going to work one double crochet into the first stitch, then front post double crochet in the next stitch. I'm gonna repeat that all the way around for round eight. Double crochet into the next stitch, front post double crochet into the next stitch. At the end of round eight, we're gonna join and chain two. And then we're on to round nine, which is going to be our last round before starting the cuff. So for round nine, we are going to front post double crochet into the first stitch, then double crochet into the next stitch, and just repeat that all the way around. So I'm on my last stitch of round nine, and before I finish that final pull through of my double crochet, so I have two loops left on my hook, I'm gonna drop my color A yarn and pick up my color B yarn, because this is the color I wanna use for my cuff. I'm just gonna finish that final pull through with my color B yarn, join to the first stitch of round nine. Then I'm gonna just tie those tail ends together and I can cut off the color A yarn now because we're all done with that. So now we are going to make the cuff of our stocking. So we're just gonna make a short little ribbed cuff. So we're gonna chain four. And working back down our chain, we're gonna single crochet into the second chain from the hook. And then single crochet into the next two chains Then we're gonna slip stitch into the next two stitches from our last round of our socking. So we're going to skip the stitch we're currently attached to and then slip stitch into the next two stitches. Then we're gonna turn and now working back up our cuff, we are going to single crochet in the back loop only. So when you look at your stitches from above, the loop closest to you is the front loop and the one furthest from you is the back loop. So we're gonna single crochet in the back loop only in each stitch up our cuff. Then chain one and turn. Now for row three, we're going to single crochet in the back loop only back down our cuff. And then slip stitch into the next two stitches from round nine.
then turn, and then we're just gonna keep repeating rows two and three until the end of row 15. So you're gonna single crochet in the back loop only all the way up the cuff, chain one and turn, single crochet in the back loop only down the cuff, slip stitch into the next two stitches from round nine, turn, and then just keep repeating. I'm just finishing up row 15 of my cuff. So I only have a one stitch left from round nine, so I'm gonna slip stitch into that last stitch. And now I'm going to join the two ends of my stocking together. So I'm gonna work in that uh, foundation chain that we worked, and then also into the last row. So insert your hook into the first foundation chain, and then I'm also gonna work into the front loop only from the last row. That's just gonna make the join a little less bulky. And then I'm just going to repeat that all the way up. So just slip stitch the ends together all the way up. Now you can tie off your yarn and weave in your end. So here is our mini country cottage stocking. So you can leave this as is if you'd like, or you can add a hanging loop. So I'm gonna add a hanging loop to mine, so I will show you how to do that. So with whatever yarn color you would like, we are going to attach our yarn on the inside of the stocking between the cuff and the main body, so the last round and I'm just doing mine above the heel as centered as I can. And I'm gonna be using my color A yarn, but use whatever color you'd like. So just join the yarn on the inside. And then chain 15. This is gonna create a loop that is about two inches long, so feel free to chain more or less if you want a longer or shorter hanging loop. When you're done working your chain, we're just gonna slip stitch back to where we had joined our yarn. Then you can tie off your yarn I'm just gonna tie those two tail ends together and then you can weave in the ends. And here we have our mini country cottage stocking. Thank you so much for following along. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to check out the other country cottage minis coming out this week and also the original versions as well. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you're notified as soon as a new video is up. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.